welcome students of class 6 this is social studies lesson the land of snow and ice you follow the lesson the polar regions location of the regions the polar regions remain covered with snow most part of the year you know lying beyond the arctic circle 66.5 degree north up to the north pole and the antarctic circle 66.5 degree south up to the south pole here is the globe the north pole and south pole you can see here it is the frigid zone or tundra region the northern parts of north america alaska of usa usa alaska is under usa and the state canada part of asia and europe lying beyond the arctic circle the continent of antarctica which is called white continent if viewed directly from above the poles the regions appear as shown in the map you see the map greenland it is a land of europe and a province of denmark capital nuuk or it is called gothab this land was discovered by a viking explorer erik the red in the year 980 ad christian era the most part is covered by ice average thickness of the ice is 1500 meters the southwestern part is ice free along the coast therefore most of the people of greenland live there during spring ice begins to melt big blocks of ice called icebergs break away causing great danger to ships and there was an incident you know on april 14 1912 the ship titanic sank after it struck an iceberg the ship was crossing the atlantic ocean traveling from southampton england to new york of usa here is picture you see climate of the region very cold temperatures remain below freezing point of about 10 months of the year sunlight is very mild sun rays fall at a steep slant during summer the sun shines 24 hours even at midnight this is due to the inclination of the earth's axis this is why greenland and other such areas are called the land of the midnight sun the polar regions are generally called the land of the midnight sun on the other hand during winter there is continuous darkness for about 6 months the polar areas are also called cold deserts for very low rainfall blizzards or strong snow storms are very frequent this is a picture of blizzards or snow storms under natural vegetation in greenland as the uh, land is ice covered growth of trees is not possible only tiny plants like moss lichens and a few flowering plants appear in short summer when top layer ice melts in the coastal areas mainly in southern greenland plant life is more abundant southern part that is coastal area such kinds of plants are seen there animal life in greenland the polar region is home to seals walruses whales polar bears reindeer musk ox and silver fox here are the pictures of such animals most of the animals have thick fur which merges with the surroundings The husky is a breed of heavy-coated dogs are the most useful animals here. They pull the sledges. 
the thick layer of fat beneath the skin along with the fur coat keeps these animals warm. Human life in Greenland and other polar regions. The original inhabitants of Greenland are called Eskimos, but they like to call themselves Inuit. In Finland, in Europe, they are known as Laps. In Siberia of Asia, they are called Samoids and Yakuts. Life is very difficult due to harsh climate. Hunting and fishing is their occupation. They hunt by harpoons. The fish like cod, salmon, halibut, shields and shrimp are canned and exported. Every part of the hunted animal is used for making tents, clothes and kayaks or canoe boats. Bones are used as harpoon heads. Animals fur is in great demand and used in jackets. Agriculture is not possible here, but in short summers, few vegetables like potatoes, turnips, parsley, etc. are grown in southwestern part of Greenland. Here are some fishes and the veg, turnips, parsley, you see. Human life, more about human life. In the winter, the Eskimos or Inuit live in igloos which are snow houses. In summer they live in tents called tupik made out of animal skin. In the top there is the picture of igloo and in the bottom right side picture of tupik you see they live a nomadic life one place to other place. But in coastal areas they live a more settled life. The Inuit use sledges pulled by reindeer or caribou or a team of dogs to travel. For fishing, a kayak, which is skin covered canoe that can hold only one person is used. In recent years, their lifestyle has changed. Motor boats have replaced the primitive boats of fishing and rifles have replaced harpoons. Powered sledges are being used with education, development of industries, discovery of minerals like oil, copper, coal and gold. The Inuits now lead a modern life. In South Polar region, that is Antarctica, is used only for scientific research, not for living. India has established a research laboratory named Dakshin Gangotri there. Here is a picture of Dakshin Gangotri at the top. This is the end of the lesson. Read the lesson again and again from your book also. Your assignment is this. Here are so many interesting information you get here. Do the exercises at the end of the lesson, page number 32 and 33. Pick and choose some parts of the lesson to write down in your practical exercise book. Collect and show some related pictures and map therein. Thank you. Stay safe.